So here we are in Silves, this castle. We're gonna check it out. Caroline Spart just killed that bird. <laughs> this was the residence of the governors of their military contingent and administrative staff. The remains of palatial residences, which can be seen on the inside, provide the physical evidence of this. As in other castles, it was crucial to have a large cistern and grain stores in order to be able to withstand restrictions during periods of siege. Classified as a national monument in 1910, castle went uh, over Reno's in 1940. Walls were consolidated, structures were demolished and rebuilt. Completed in 2009. Yeah, let's walk this whole thing. It's a good viewpoint from up here, huh? Probably. Or it's got to be something like it. It's like orange groves or something. The cistern of dogs is almost completely dug into the rocky substrate. It is a rectangular section to a depth of 15 meters, and then it's almost circular in section to a depth of, a four, a depth of 40 meters. In 1889, among the rubble removed from the inside, the eminent Algarve archaeologist found Roman pottery, hammer stones, numerous alcatruz, fragments, clay pots, this was in addition to two stone axes and other stone artifacts. This leads to the hypothesis there may have been a functioning water wheel during the period of Muslim rule. The cuts that the eminent Algarve archaeologist made into the rock led him to conclude this was a mine from which an unknown mineral had been extracted since the Neolithic period. It would have continued through the Roman period, which the Moors used for supplying themselves with water. Apart from such evidence, archaeology has not contributed further information. The final phase of the Muslim occupation, the cistern was probably responsible for supplying water to the people. It's close to being cool, right? Yeah, it's good. We keep it like that. Okay. How do they make this? Well, it's, on tonight. it's unusual name appears to be linked to the fact that stray dogs in the city were thrown into it in the middle of the last century. What the hell? That's bad. I don't so want any dog water. Fresh water. Popular tradition has it that from the inside you could get to the Rio Arade and from there to Estambar through underground passages, something that has never been confirmed. Ooh. And then it was the Moors, which, what are the Moors? I think the Muslims, right? The Moors, I think they came from Africa. So this castle has withstood and been inhabited by like, people for how many years? Since the 10th century, so what? A thousand years, it's a thousand years old.
Looks like they're digging some stuff out over here, right? <laughs> We're traveling around with a mobile home. Oh, cool! Yeah, so we, we arrived a few two weeks ago in uh, northern uh, Portugal. Camper van. That's what they call them. What is that? Even a bird's getting raped. <laughs> and then very, very slowly along the coast, all the way up to France and all the way up. So we come home uh, May or June or something. What's <laughs> Sweden. Sweden. Stockholm. Really neat. That's cool. Yeah. What? Nothing. Wonder if the well they said the castle's been under siege, right? So they used it for that's why they had to. I'm sure they were probably they were their brains and stuff. Probably just like when you go to the airport. You're under siege. Find an offload from EasyJet. <laughs> yeah. This lady in the middle seat was like trying to trample me, man. Sweet. This whole room is sweet. Oh, it's like a. I don't even know what it is. Oh, yeah. Places to visit in Sweden. Yeah. The optimal visit in Sweden for summer is Stockholm, Gotland, and maybe the mid, the midnight sun up in nor north, wherever you find the place. So basically, you get sun all night long. Yeah. Cool. I, I've been. I heard one said it was very special to ski on in the summer in, in the sun, 12 o'clock in the night skiing on the north side of the mountain. Oh yeah. yeah. How do you like it here? You're in Portugal only or visiting Europe or? Uh, oh. Iceland and now we're here. Pardon? We were in Iceland. Ah, it's a little bit too cold. Oh, it's great. Yeah. This here says the Iberian lynx is the most threatened cat in the world. But Stockholm is a very nice city and Gotland is a very nice island. And you have a city wall round Visby, that is one of four complete city walls, middle-aged city walls in Europe. Caroline, down in the pit of misery. Dilly dilly. The Iberian That's what I'm gonna call you. Look at her go. And I can see it's a little bit of this manner of the towers, but it's, it's gray stone. They have this middle-aged week in Visby, mm -hmm. and then you get the most out of it. Everything is open everywhere, and uh, you see the typical kind of clothes from 1,000 years back, and uh, everything is very uh, amazing in different kind of ways. Summer days in Sweden is like this. Yeah. Good summer is five to ten degrees warmer. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Well, I heard the Atlantic Ocean here is around 19 degrees. Good. 
Yeah, that's why it's so warm here right now. So this concludes our trip to the castle of Silvez. We will see you again soon. Over and out.